Yahudith Judith 14. Then said Yahudith unto them, Hear me now, my brethren, and take this head, and hang it upon the highest place of your walls, and so soon as the morning shall appear, and the sun shall come forth upon the earth. Take ye every one his weapons, and go forth every valiant man out of the city, and set ye a captain over them, as though ye would go down into the field toward the watch of Ashur, but go not down. Then they shall take their armor, and shall go into their camp, and shall raise up the captains of the army of Ashur, and shall run to the tent of Holofernes, but shall not find him. Then fear shall fall upon them, and they shall flee before your face. So ye and all that inhabit the coast of Yashadael shall pursue them and overthrow them as they go. But before ye do these things, call me Achior the Amani, that he may see and know him that despised the house of Yashadael, and that sent him to us as it were to his death. Then they called Achior out of the house of Uziahu, and when he was come and saw the head of Holofernes in a man's hand in the assembly of the people, he fell down on his face, and his ruach failed. But when they had recovered him, he fell at Yahudith's feet and reverenced her and said, Blessed are you in all the tabernacles of Yahudah and in all nations, which hearing your name shall be astonished. Now therefore tell me all the things that you have done in these days. Then Yahudith declared unto him in the midst of the people all that she had done from the day that she went forth until that hour she spoke unto them. And when she had left off speaking, the people shouted with a loud voice and made a joyful noise in their city. And when Achior had seen all that the Elohim of Yashad El had done. He believed in Elohim greatly and circumcised the flesh of his foreskin and was joined unto the house of Yashad El unto this day. And as soon as the morning arose, they hanged the head of Holofernes upon the wall and every man took his weapons and they went forth by bands unto the straits of the mountain. But when the Ash-Sharim saw them, they sent to their leaders, which came to their captains and tribunes, and to every one of their rulers. So they came to Holofernes's tent, and said to him that had the charge of all the things, rather of all his things, Waken now, our Lord, for the slaves have been bold to come down against us to battle, that they may be utterly destroyed. Then went in Bagaos, and knocked at the door of the tent, for he thought that he had slept with Yahudith. But because none answered, he opened it, and went in to the bedchamber, and found him cast upon the floor, dead, and his head was taken from him. Therefore he cried with a loud voice, with weeping and sighing, and a mighty cry, and rent his garments. After he went into the tent where Yahudith lodged, and when he found her not, he leaped out to the people and cried, These slaves have dealt treacherously. One woman of the Ivrim has brought shame upon the house of King Nebuchadnezzar. For behold, Holofernes lies upon the ground without a head. When the captains of Ashur's army heard these words, they rent their coats, and their minds were wonderfully troubled, and there was a cry and a very great noise throughout the camp.